Sangeeta Saxena, editor Aviation and Defense Universe, speaking from Pragati Medan at the International Police Expo, which simultaneously is also holding the International Homeland Security and the International Drone Festivals. Now, here we have with us two gentlemen and the brand behind Lokesh Machines. And, uh, you know, the truth is that here when we stand, we are seeing a lot of equipment which is absolutely tailor-made for defense and homeland security. We have with us Mr. M. Srinivas, the director of Lokesh Machines, and we have with us Colonel Rajiv Sharma, who looks after the defense and homeland security business. Uh, welcome, sirs, to ADU's chat room. And my first question to you would be, what is Lokesh Machines doing here? We are seeing it for the first time. What is the idea behind showcasing at such an event? Uh, at Lokesh, we are a leading machine tool manufacturer, an engineering goods manufacturing company. We specialize in mechanical manufacturing. And with that expertise, uh, we were looking at a, a division to diversify into something which is, I would say, an adjacency, not uh, way out of uh, what we do. As I mentioned, we specialize in manufacturing, so we wanted to be in metals and manufacturing. And then we, when we saw the new government, uh, or rather the government of uh, Prime Minister Modi talk about uh, Atma Nirbharta, Make in India, uh, we thought here's an opportunity. And then we did a scan around, and one of the opportunities that came across was uh, the small arms. Traditionally, the arms, of course, the ordnance factory do manufacture. But then in the private sector, we noticed that everything else is important. So therefore, we thought, why not we start that? And uh, in line with that, we associated with uh, ARD, which is a division of DRDO. And we were uh, fortunate enough to participate with them in a completely new development or one of its kind. Uh, first time in India, we manufactured a 9 by 19 millimeter uh, a machine pistol. That's perhaps just the beginning and we would also be manufacturing some components for the light machine gun and hopefully that would uh, pave way for uh, future new models. Right sir and uh, now we move to Colonel Sharma. Colonel Sharma, you are the man who's also been a user and to understand this, who better than you to tell us about it, that all that you are producing here, all that you are you know, co uh, jointly doing it with DRDO, the designs, and also manufacturing on your own with a DRDO design. How is it that you feel that you'll be able to, uh, you know, match up with the erstwhile Ordnance Factory Board and its current offshoots? So that's something which I'd like to understand from you, both from a user as well as a manufacturer perspective. As a user point of view, I have felt this weapon and handled this weapon and I can say it's uh, one of the best in its own class. The Indian Army does not have as on today a weapon of this class which can fulfill the requirement of uh, short range, close quarter battle kind of uh, weapon ranging up to 100 meters. This weapon is 9 into 19 mm. It is uh, quite light in weight, weighs less than uh, 2 kgs. It can fire 13 ounce magazine in single shot and auto mode both. The weapon will meet the requirement of the security forces to a large extent because uh, it's very compact, it can be used for the covert operations, it can be handled very well, it has undergone a lot of trials over a period of time and uh, always we have found it very successful in the trials without having a single stoppage. We see a very bright future for this weapon ahead and uh, soon we will come out with more versions of it which can meet the user aspirations. And have you decided on a marketing strategy for it? <laughs> because we have a complete homeland security market and a defense force. So, what is the marketing strategy you plan for? Uh, first and foremost, of course, uh, we are awaiting the uh, clearance from MHA. MHA trials got concluded uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I mean, we are happy to note that I mean, it's extremely satisfactory. The weapon has been subjected to some very extensive tests. They were pretty rigorous and uh, it came out with flying colors without any stoppage as Kala uh, Sharma had mentioned. So that was the first uh, milestone for us to cross. And then of course now we would directly approaching the respective procurement uh, cells of 
all the state governments as well. And then we are going to put in our own, uh, I would say, register ourselves with MHA. And perhaps they would have us as a preferred vendor. I mean, in case the respective state agencies who take the MHA support for procurement, you know, whenever uh, there is a requirement, we are sure MHA would then sell speech in our company. Yeah. There's no imported component at all. No, it's totally Indian. Everything is that's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. IDDM class of product, indigenously designed and manufactured also. Yes, absolutely. But that is wonderful, absolutely, to hear in times of Atmanirbhar Bharat and Make in India. When you hear that something is 100% indigenous, it really gives a great moment of pride to the Indian and India. Now, to understand this, you have your, is it the first time you have such a project, a product you are manufacturing? Or uh, what about the training of the manpower which is going to manufacture? How do you plan to do everything finally? Uh, manufacturing is a forte. We manufacture auto components which are very precise and they go into the heart of an engine, an IC engine. And therefore, uh, given that kind of a technology or the expertise that we have, it wasn't very difficult for our people to adopt the manufacture the small vehicles. So, uh, again, I assure you that uh, our people are very well qualified. They're very, uh, I would say, trained to handle these kind of components. That's point number one. And the second part, of course, is for the first range of weapons, we have collaborated with the ARDE and the Indian Army. Of course, we would continue to extend our, uh, uh, I mean, the technology and the association with them. And simultaneously, yes, we will have our own designers as well, who are uh, very good at engineering design. They know how to understand the uh, customer's requirement and accordingly design the product. So that's how we need it. And your manufacturing facility is based out of where? We are located at Hyderabad, Maritime right, Manufacturing, and we are coming out with a greenfield uh, project exclusively for the weapon manufacturing. Thank you very much, Mr. Srinivas and uh, Kal Sharma. Wonderful, you know, actually to know that, uh, you know, somebody is doing an absolutely Indian drive for an absolute Indian requirement. And next time when we, when we meet, we will go beyond talking about Indian requirement. We'll also talk about your, uh, you know, prospective export market. But uh, we begin from here. Wish you all the best. Thanks, so.